What's up Team Furious, Furious Pete here. And truth be told, this is my second time recording this video. I did this entire video with my fancy lav mic that I never really use. And I was wearing my D4L weight plate necklace that I never take off. I never take this baby off. But when I was wearing it, it was just clinging and clinging and clinging. And in fact, every single TV show that I do, they tell me to take it off. And I was just like, yeah, it's not gonna affect it. And the whole time it sounded like there was a cat playing in the background and playing with a toy or something like that. So uh, necklace is off, first time in a while. I will put it right there for now. Today's video is gonna be a fun one. Uh, I did a little vlog about this years and years ago. I talked about a story called The Biggest Cheater in Competitive Eating. And it really just talked. I didn't really show a lot of evidence, which is something that I wanted to do. And new evidence has actually surfaced uh, within the past week about this competitive eater doing it again and getting exposed by another big YouTuber, uh, Nate Figs, uh, another big uh, eating challenge guy on the YouTubes. And uh, he exposed this competitive eater, Dale Bone, the mouth of the South. Wait, the mouth of the South. I can't do accents. If you, if you took a Georgia accent, a Southern accent, and you said the mouth of the South, and you're really yelling and you really want to say it, that's what it would sound like, all right? That's what it would sound like. And this story, this story is just a fun one, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. But before we get into it, I got a question for you guys. You see this? This beard has finally grown, and it's grown in thicker than it's ever grown before. So chemotherapy, I lost everything. I lost everything. And then the beard started growing back, and it's not as, it used to be really patchy, and not anymore. In fact, it's way thicker than it used to be. And so, I want to ask you guys, and all you got to comment down below is like, do it, or like, grow the beard, and tell me if I should grow it for one year straight. I've never done that in my life, but I want to ask you guys, since you guys are like family, to let me know if I should do it, all right? So comment about down below or give this video a thumbs up. Either one, you know, I'm taking your advice. I'm taking your advice. If you guys tell me no, I'm not gonna do it. If you guys tell me do it, I'm gonna do it. So let me know in the comments below. But getting into the story. Dale Boone, Dale Boone. So I started competitive eating uh, professionally in 2008. So a year before that, in 2007, I discovered that I was really good at this through a bet from one of my best friends, Mike. After that, I just started doing different eating challenges online, restaurant challenges, eventually uh, after after breaking a bunch of world records and just destroying every single record. Uh, in 2008, I was asked to come down to California for an eating contest. I won that contest, won 20 in a row after that, pretty much undefeated in uh, 2008, 2009. So I did these contests for two reasons. One, because it was a lot of fun initially, and it was just, you know, it's something that I was really good at. You know, when there's something you're really good at in this world, you pursue it, you pursue it. And uh, it led me to my life today, you know, uh, doing these, doing YouTube, doing TV shows, uh, owning an awesome apparel company, a supplement company, uh, being able to meet all these cool people around the world. It, it just, it opened up all the doors I never thought would be open, right? I was doing engineering and that degree just, well, that $50,000 piece of paper is just hanging up on my wall at home, but you just never know what's gonna come your way. I did that obviously for fun and you get that adrenaline rush whenever you're competing and you're and you're trying to beat everybody. It's, it's much like any sport, you know? When, when you're competing against someone and you are, you know, going to beat them or you, you want to beat them or it's really tight, that adrenaline rush is real. And it's just, it feels good. It's like a pre-workout. You take a pre-workout, you, you took some Goku gains, you feel awesome, right? You get that energy, you get that energy up and you feel good. Much like any contest like that, you, that energy goes up, those, that adrenaline goes up and you feel good. You want to win, you want to compete. So this story is in regards to the Z-Burger eating contest. I had won the this contest already three years in a row. So I was the returning champ from Canada. Ironically, this was like a contest that happened right before Independence Day on July 3rd. So I was going down there. They obviously wanted like an American champ at the beginning, but I was there for the first year of it for the debut. I won in. They they, they kind of embraced the Canadian uh, Canadian champ. Mind you, Canada Day was like two days before that. So, you know, it was kind of appropriate that I won as well. This contest was very well ran. Uh, there was a lot of media that showed up to these contests. I'm mean a lot. I don't know what kind of connections these guys had, or maybe it was just the convenience of the location, but there was a lot of media that showed up, more media than any other contest that I've ever been to. So this is a 10 minute eating contest with burgers, substantial sized burgers, well, about that big you know, um, bigger than, than your usual like fast food burgers maybe. And unlike the years before, this time around, um, we actually had to eat one burger and open up our mouths in between each burger just to show kind of that it was empty. Just how it ran for this contest, you know, it was kind of unusual because I personally just like to eat a burger and then take the next burger and move 
you know, push the burger that's already in my mouth with that burger to get it down. And, and you know, everyone's got their methods, um, but that was, those were the rules and you gotta follow the rules. And so we're competing and I'm one of those guys, whenever I start an eating contest, I, I jump out to the lead. I'm a sprinter, that's what I am. That's, that's why I've always been good at Guinness World Records. I've always been good at the little speed stuff, short stuff. Capacity wise, I never really trained it. I was always pretty damn good when I was doing eating contests, um, but I never really trained it. Uh, speed just came naturally to me. I, just, I was just good at it. So what I would do in contests is just go start up a lead and just coast, coast with that lead all the way to the end. And it worked for a lot of contests. And so this contest, uh, right off the bat, I had a three burger lead. I was doing awesome. I was just kicking ass and I was doing awesome. It was a 10 minute contest, mind you, right? And so eight minutes of the contest go by and I still have a three burger lead. There's one minute left in the contest and all of a sudden, I only have a lead by a burger and a half. Contest is over and there's a tie. There's a tie, there's a tie with none other than Dale Boone. Now, Dale Boone always wears these overalls to these contests. And uh, unlike the other eaters, uh, instead of drinking water, he drinks a dark crystal light. And so the contest was done and, you know, I was like, damn, I can't believe I tied, this sucks. It's gonna be an eat off, you know, I'm prepared for this eat off, but this kind of just sucks, right? And mind you, so there's money on the line, right? So if it was just like, just for fun, then it would be like, whatever, you know, tied, whatever, wouldn't really, really care. But there was three grand on the line for first place and I think second place was fifteen hundred or even a thousand dollars so you wanted to win I didn't go down there to not win you know and and I thought I would have won no problem whatsoever and so we step back from the tables after this contest and we're all just like ah, oh, oh, you know everyone, all the eaters are kind of just like ah oh, I could have eaten better could have done this could have done that surprised that Dale Boone actually caught up and then we started looking at the tables where we were eating. Media is still hanging around until the contest winner is officially announced. And we started looking at these tables and it was a nice and bright sunny day. And like I said, Dale Boone was using Crystal Light, a dark red Crystal Light for his beverage. And he had lots of these cups, lots of these cups in front of him. And so we started looking at this table and it gets pointed out that those cups are kind of, the color's kind of off in the sense that half the cup was super, super dark. And the other half of the cup was a nice light red like you would see a crystal light. And so I was like, what the hell is that? I know exactly what that is. I know exactly what that is. This guy put food in the bottom of his drinks. And so I was just like, I, I, I'm gonna expose him right away. I'm gonna expose him right away. I start running to the table and Dan Boone tries to stop me. He's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? He knows exactly what I'm about to do. He knows exactly what I'm about to do. And so I'm like, no, move out of my way. I need to see something. He tries to stop me, but no, I'll put my hands straight into his cups and I take out those chunks of burgers. I take them out and I'm like, look at this, look at this. Media all around, cameras just start going. They're like taking pictures or recording video and they see this, they see what is going on. I exposed them right there and then. When I was pointed out that there's something, no, you didn't, no, you didn't. Do you want to do an eat off because he's going to win? Are you going to do an eat off? Then you got to disqualify him. Like you just want to No, because eat off goes to his advantage. Eat off goes to his advantage. Okay, so then we have eat off. Eat off. Eat off or I swear. No, I swear. I'll go lawsuit. Just, 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 just. I'll go lawsuit. This was not the first time that I've heard about this. I was warned about this guy. In fact, a contest before, he was calling everyone at a hotel that the host put us up in the night before and trying to like keep everyone up at night so that we'd be super tired going into the contest. He was doing stupid things like that. It was just, it was just what he was known for, trying to get ahead in any sort of way. I expose him and for some reason, I don't know why, he was not disqualified. Instead, we were told to still do an eat off. Anyways, long story short, I kicked his ass in the one minute eat off. I ate three burgers, he ate one and uh, I took home the first place trophy. Begin eating now. Go baby, go! Seconds. 
All right, we've come down to the final 20 seconds. Make some noise for your favorite contestant. 15 seconds. Help us count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time is up. But I just still can't believe that that guy was not disqualified and that he would do that. Now, jumping forward to about a week ago, the exact same scenario happens. Nate finally competed uh, with Dale Boone for the first time. Same thing happened. He started chirping everyone beforehand. I might have not mentioned that earlier, but he just chirps everyone before the contest. He just, he tries to get everyone down, tries to say like how good he is, like nice try, you know, good luck getting second or third. Just tries to like get in your head head so that you start thinking that you don't have a chance. So anyway, so he did that for all the contests that I've competed with him against. Um, and unfortunately, I did a bunch of contests with him, but he never once beat me. But that being said, the same thing happened to Nate. So he started chirping, started talking with his big mouth before the contest. During the contest, the exact same thing happened. Hot dogs everywhere, hot dogs in the bottom of cup. He has like half the tray of buns sitting inside of the water and it's like whole water bucket full bun so I'm, I'm definitely writing off Dale Boone like first time meeting him he's exactly how people said he was he's a cheater sloppy 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 and the guy ended up with a victory as a result and was not disqualified but should have been I'm sure he's done this his entire career um, in fact, the guy actually does most of his contests over in India. He hosts, he has his own eating organization over in India where he decides as to who the competitors are in his contest and kind of makes sure that he wins every single contest that he enters. That is Dale Boone, the mouth of the South. And it's just, it's hilarious that these stories exist, that these characters exist. I don't know why people even let him into contests. You know, moving forward to like today, it's it's funny to reflect on this. It's re funny to reflect that stuff like this exists. And there, I have plenty more stories of the competitive eating scene. Like, I mean, plenty more. So if, if this is something that you guys found entertaining, if you guys found some kind of joy in this, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, let me know if I should do more of them because I'd love to share them. I'd love to share them because they were funny, funny, funny. I had a good time on the circuit, you know, eventually it didn't really make sense, you know, financially, most of all, especially as an independent eater. So let's say a contest pays a thousand dollars. Sounds pretty good, right? First of all, you have to win that contest to get a thousand dollars. You know, sometimes these contests would pay a little bit more, uh, maybe two, maybe three, maybe $5,000 in which that's, that's fantastic. But let's say it pays a thousand dollars, right? I would have to fly myself out to these contests. So yeah, I would try and find the cheapest flight, but sometimes a flight out there is 500, sometimes thousand dollars, you know, but let's say it's $500, right? So I get there, it's $500. Then I sometimes have to stay there overnight. So I have to get a hotel. I get a cheap hotel, hundred bucks. If it's a more expensive city, it's gonna be 150, maybe 200 bucks. I have to like feed myself before or, or after maybe. Maybe the contest will fill me up. Let's say I win. So I just made $300 for an entire weekend. And that sounds good. But what happens if I didn't win? What happens if I came in second place? I would actually be out of money. I'd be out of money. So, you know, during university, I did really well. And that's why I did these contests after, you know, for a career on a day to day, it just didn't make sense. And so I pursued TV shows. I pursued YouTube, pursued other businesses. And hence, here I am today telling these stories. Uh, but they were a lot of fun. And if you guys want to see more, please let me know. We'll catch you guys on Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with another eating challenge. Go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification button, that little bell. Turn it on. Turn it on and so if it's on you'll be the first one to know anyways guys thanks again for your daily support check out furious apparel furious formulations in the description below thank you again for your continued support your support continues to fund awesome projects that i share with you guys right here on the youtube we'll catch you guys next time as always my friends you guys stay sexy stay hungry get gains and get laid boom 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 boom